In this video, I'm going to be reading a creepypasta about My Little Pony. You know, the family-friendly kids show? Well, we're changing that. Give the video a thumbs up. Each like equals one prayer for a poor child who accidentally stumbles upon this video. I'm sorry. And subscribe for more creepypasta content. Enjoy. Why I Stopped Watching My Little Pony Dear Hasbro, My name is Alex Garcia, a single father of a ten-year-old daughter named Jennifer. She's a huge fan of your show. Non-stop, all she ever does is talk about the My Little Pony show and how it's the greatest thing on earth. I've even watched a few episodes with her, and I have to admit, even I've gotten a little hooked on it as well. Or at least, I used to be. I don't really see the show the same way nowadays. Ever since she started watching it, she's always asked for a Rainbow Dash doll. Her favourite pony, by the way. I have tried to find one to buy for her at the store, but so far I haven't found one. Or for that matter, any My Little Pony dolls or figures. I once asked one of the clerks when, if ever, they'll have some. But she had no idea what I was talking about. She had never heard of it. I've also looked online on eBay and Etsy, but still, I haven't seen any toys from your show. A few weeks ago, my daughter, Jennifer, brought home a Twilight Sparkle vinyl figure she said she had found in the playground under the swing set. It was dirty, with one of its wings ripped off. Someone had coloured its eyes black with a pen or marker, and it had the strangest smile I'd ever seen on a doll. It's silly, and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but sometimes I feel like the doll hates me. Jennifer loves it, and takes it everywhere with her. I can't imagine why she loves it so much. It's a broken toy, but it's her favourite. I tried cleaning it up, but I've never been able to remove the black ink. She took it with her for a sleepover with her friend Amelia at her house a few weeks ago. I'm not sure what happened, but my daughter isn't allowed to go over there anymore. I don't know everything that went on that night, and from what little I do, it has something to do with Jennifer lending her Twilight Sparkle doll to her friend Amelia when they went to bed, and something happened with her and the toy during the night. But the thing is, Jennifer has told me that she hasn't been to school since the sleepover. Something about all she does is scream nowadays, and had to be placed into a hospital. I don't understand what all happened, and I'm a little frightened of it. I have caught my daughter on more than a few occasions talking to it, and I'm a little creeped out. Sometimes, it seems like the doll is listening and talking back to her. I know, I know it's stupid for me to tell you this, but I can't seem to shake the feeling. But that's not really what I wanted to write to you about. The reason I'm writing to you is because I don't like how your new episodes are going. They're neither good nor wholesome. We started watching and to tell you the truth, they're more than a little sick. I don't know how you can call it a kid's show, and if I ever figure out the schedule to it, I will make sure my daughter never watches it again. When we started watching My Little Pony, it was on Saturday mornings. Now it seems to be on all the time. Whenever I bring her home from school, or when she wakes up in the morning, and all through the day, 
I will find it on. I'm not sure how they do it, but for almost a year now, my little pony is on all hours of the day and night. It has gotten so bad that I started to unhook the cable from the TV, and now we watch only DVDs and shows on Netflix. What's really upsetting is how the new episodes are going. Hasbro, I don't know what's wrong with you, or the company that makes these shows, but they're downright evil. Only a twisted person would make something like this, and like it. I thought it was strange that it was on all the time, but I didn't mind it. That all changed with the Season 3, Episode 14, Flutter Pet. The one where Fluttershy's pet rabbit, Angel, gets sick and has to be put down. That was a horrible episode, and I didn't like how the other ponies laughed at Fluttershy and called her names for letting Angel get sick. They kept on until Fluttershy had a breakdown and started crying, while the other ponies gleefully ripped the poor bunny Angel apart. I was so shocked when I watched it with her. Even more shocking was my daughter's reaction. Just laughing and carrying on as if it was just another episode. This is the type of show you put on the air? The next episode was the Season 3, Episode 15, Pinky Party Pinky. I remember the name of it and that it was even worse than the other one. How Pinkie Pie threw a party for all her friends, and they all hated it, telling her she was a failure, and her parties were terrible, and that no one likes her, and wishes she was dead. The other ponies tormented Pinkie until she literally flipped out. She started biting herself, pulling out her hair, while she was laughing and crying at the same time. My god, it was awful. It was so bad I turned it off and told my daughter she wasn't allowed to watch it anymore. It was disturbing how it didn't bother my daughter at all. I talked to her about it later on, and she told me that Twilight Sparkle Doll said Pinkie Pie deserved it. Her parties are stupid, and that no one likes her, and they all do wish she was dead. I was so stunned. I took the doll away from her after that, and wanted nothing to do with your show. I thought the matter was closed. I threw the doll away, and thought that was the end of it. But it wasn't. The next day, after dinner, a new episode came on, as me and Jennifer watched a cartoon on Nickelodeon. I had never seen the My Little Pony show on it before, and it was just as horrible as the other episodes. It was called First Flight Twilight. It was an episode where Twilight Sparkle is trying to learn how to fly with her wings, when she couldn't get it right, after her third try, the others got so mad at her, they ripped off one of her wings, just like the doll my daughter had, now that I think of it, and threw her off a cliff. You can clearly see her hit the ground. There was blood everywhere, along with the sickening sound of Twilight breaking her neck. Every other episode after that, Twilight is missing one of her wings, and her head hangs at a weird angle. I don't get you people. Are your creators mentally sick? Like I said before, as much as I tried to stop my daughter from watching the show, it still comes on all the time. And all the episodes are just as mean. Apple Jerk where they set fire to Applejack's house 
and called names as her and her family are trapped inside and burned to death. Colours of the rainbow, how they trapped Rainbow Dash in a well and filled it up with water until she drowned, all the while laughing at her screams. How can you call yourself a kid-friendly company when you have trash like this on? There are more episodes like this, but I don't really want to get into it. I have forbidden my daughter, who didn't seem to have minded it at all, from watching your My Little Pony show anymore. She somehow got the doll back, don't ask me how, and told me, you shouldn't have done that, you made Twilight angry. What that means is beyond me, but she is my problem. As you know, this is my second letter I have sent to you about your show. I have attached your response to my first letter. Dear Mr. Garcia, We thank you for your time to write to us about this issue. But Hasbro has never, nor will at this point in time, have any plans for a creation of a My Little Pony show. And from what you have described in some of the episodes, I am not sure if this is some sort of joke from you or another person. Hasbro is committed to children's entertainment and merchandise and we would never create horrific shows that would torment our viewers. If you can give us more information about this, we will look into it. Sincerely, Hasbro Legal This has to be your show. I see your logo on it every episode. Pictures taken off my screen with the show and your name on it have been attached to my letter sent to you. Wait, I can hear the show coming on again, and my TV isn't even plugged in. Please, make it stop. Thank you for watching the video and supporting my content. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from me I upload every week on Friday. I've got some really big videos coming, I've got the Jeff the Killer series I'm still working on, and some other ones which I'll keep a surprise for now. But thank you for watching the video, and I will catch you guys in the next video next week. I'll see you then.